All right, hey collective, how y'all doing out there today? Now I do hope everything is going well out there in La La Land. Hope that the energy ain't beating you up too bad, cause it's crazy out here, y'all. That's why I wanted to use the mermaid cards today. Try to tap in and see what's going on with our feelings and all that good jazz. You know. Now, I want to say thank you for all your donation, your cash apps and good things, your words of encouragement, your compliments. They really mean so much to me, guys. Now, if it's your first time to the channel, do consider subscribing. I would love to have you. Hit the notifications for all. Check out all my content because it is all timeless. All right. Now let's see what's coming out of the park. Now it do look like most of you guys are staying in gratitude. Trusting where you're being led, how you're being guided. Tapping into your discernment. Let's see. I haven't used these cards in a while. Give us three. And tell us how to um, collect this feeling. Now you have re energized relaxation. And I just heard the verse is, is behind you. Now at the bottom of the deck is waiting. And we ain't gonna focus on that. Now you have in annoying. Now it's something. In regards to your discernment, your inner knowing. Now, I do see that as heightening. Now, you're being called to go with the flow. And I guess accept this transition. It's almost like birthing pains, you know. Last attempt efforts and things of that nature that's going on talking about they coming from all angles y'all your family your friends your lovers and sometimes you know the people that haven't awoken to this process don't understand what's going on you know they want to stay blind and sometimes you have to explain or even to separate yourself you, you know into the energy kind of lift so that you don't get caught up in your emotions and things of that nature. And maybe some of you guys are really experiencing this at this time. You know? It kind of uh, shows you just how connected we are. Because a lot of us be going through the same energy shift. That's, this is why this is telling you to re-energize. Separate yourself. And this may just telling you to go in hermit mode. Use your discernment in regards to the energy that you want to affiliate with. Tap into. Pay attention, you know. Sometimes you even got to uh, step back from some of this media, some of these tarot readings, you know, because some of that stuff can push a little bit of fear too, y'all. You know? And accept the things that you can't change, boo. Remember, you only can change you. Not those forces outside of yourself. And remember, it's mind over matter. Keeping your mind strong. Yeah. 
Alright, let's pull from these. I think I'm going to put these over here. I always do that. <laughs> let's put them over here so you can see. Alright, tell us about Regenerate. Re-energize. Challenging times and solar plexus chakra. You can't make it up, boo. We are in some challenging times. And this is all about our emotions. Keeping them in check. I'm going to put that one up there like that. Put this one over here like this. Well, I'll put this one up top so you can see that one once I get to the tower. Yeah. And I had to keep your armor up against some of these fools. Just walk away. <laughs> Breathe and just walk away, boo. Now, what is the relaxation? The crown? Yeah. Let's pull one more. We're going to put it up at the top. Wow, Spirit got them all out here. I think I'm going to put them down there like that. Alright, give us two for the top. Believe and succeed. One more. One more. Now it is daydreams and decisions. I'm going to take the top one because it's the number seven. And we got five, six, seven here, y'all. And I'm going to put this one over here with confront. I mean, on the side, it's confront. That's shadow. And that's confronting people that um, exhibit the shadow side of themselves. Yeah. Because it's right here on the throat chakra. Sometimes you got to call them demons out, y'all. Put them right in their place. You do. I lovingly assert yourself. <laughs> and tell them how a T.I. is. Politely say give me 50 feet. And that'll take you around the corner and up out of my face. <laughs> y'all. Now, because I pulled one, let me get two more. Now, you got the solar plex, the crown, and the throat. Telling you to protect your crown and your feelings. However, utilize your voice when you need to. Now, your inner knowing is telling you something about some decisions that you need to make. Now, you have sadness and isolation. 
And that's telling you to confront that. Now, sadness and isolation doesn't necessarily have to be a feeling of without companionship. Because you could be in a house full of people and be sad and isolated. You understand what I'm saying? But maybe think about this as past experiences. You know, because our past experiences is teaching us how to deal with this current energy. It's telling you to take the lead and spread your wings. Now you could be saying five 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 or three three three. And you have lead again. Now you got three four five out here. Three four five six seven. Wow. Okay. Well, you got two, three, four, five, six, seven. All of them. Something is coming into alignment, guys. I think I'm going to put these over here like this. Actually, I really don't even need them down there. Well, let me keep it. Yeah, I think this is the way it goes. Now, this is telling you to confront your emotion, the shadow side of yourself, how this energy is making you feel. Identify it. Now, spirit, you know, a lot of times I know some of this stuff is unwanted. However... These are tests to um, determine your growth sometimes, boo. Yeah. Just to see how you react to a lot of things. Now, my leaders, you are being called to utilize your voice. I see divine guidance at hand. Yeah. Something about your daydreams and decisions and your inner knowing. And this is the number four five here. Now maybe this sadness and isolation is telling you to um protect your crown at this time, the energy that you're bringing in. Again, I'm telling y'all to separate yourself from some of this content that you're watching. Does it get you in your feelings? Making you react? And if you're going to view it, take time to breathe it out before you respond. Analyze the situation carefully. <laughs> And I'm not saying being over analytical. Because we are in some challenging times at this time. Telling you to relax. Just believe that you're going to succeed and you're going to push through this. Look at that. Boat is pushing right through it to the light. Operating the for self first. Do not compromise your feelings to appease others. People pleasing sounds like a good word, but it's not. You know? 
be vulnerable enough with self to express yourself fully. Teach these fools how to treat you. And if they can't get with the program, show them the devil. And I'm not saying, you know, it's your way or the highway. But you understand what I'm saying in fairness. In regards to your validity. Validity. How you say it, (laughs) y'all? Validizing yourself, boo. That your feelings are valid. Okay. That's all I want to say. Not that you're better than anybody. That's not what I'm saying. Because, you know, sometimes you got to say what you mean. Before people take things out of context. And maybe that's something, too. You know, because a lot of times when you are texting, you may mean one thing and somebody take it totally out of context because you didn't thoroughly explain yourself. So sometimes it ain't even good to text y'all. Because listen. And even if you're in the comment sections, you might want to express yourself fully. So people don't take what you're saying out of context. Just a little food for thought. temperance right here on the solar plexus and confront daydreams and decisions now temperance does indicate patience you know pouring into one's cup telling you to be worried on how you're reacting your emotions pay attention to that if you have any shadow aspects of oneself that you need to confront, do that. Situations that you don't call judgment on. People don't stab you in the back. Let them go. And it do look like somebody may be facing a situation such as that. Yeah. A lot of judgment is coming down on communities and relationships. Damn. Now I do see somebody's situation changing. Moving you up out of some toxic energy. And maybe that's in regards to some of those daydreams and decisions. Maybe you got some dark forces around you that you need to separate yourself from. And as I say that, look, liberating yourself from situations that lack balance, that manipulate the mind, that's telling you to move forward. Now, I do look like you're about to do that. You got the Queen of Cups on the solar plexus chakra. And she all about her emotions. Now she is looking at temperance. Seeking that guidance. Tapping in. Look like somebody is really becoming a star out here. Got your crown chakra on the star with sadness and isolation. I think there's a lot of growth in regards to this sadness and isolation, hermit mode. 
saying this in isolation, I mean, it's really doing a lot of self-reflection. Taking a look at the man in the mirror. He's in a fetal position here, but look at how he's stretched all out. He's open. And all that's going around his crown to his heart. It's giving me a new perspective. Now, maybe some of you guys don't see yourself up out of some situations, but you're going to get through it, boo. And you're going to have a lot of people cheering you on. Now, these people that's cheering you on, they're not even in your immediate family, boo. And sometimes it's those that's outside of your immediate family that cheer you on. And I know it's hard. To leave behind the people that you love. I know. But sometimes you got to. Discover who you truly are. Now. A lot of you guys may be in your head in regards to this energy as well, in regards to opportunities, but they're coming. And I also see this as some type of gift in regards to your crown. Yeah, because it's right next to the star. It's some type of gift, discovery, on the throat, taking the lead. This is some type of message opportunity that could be long lasting and promising yeah some information that's coming your way that's going to change your whole cotton picking world Now, I've been doing a couple of pre-shuffles out here. And I've got some cards that say it's your time. It's your season. And right here, believe and succeed. And a lot of you guys are going to be doing things that you simply love. That ain't going to feel like work. Now, somebody might be offering you some type of opportunity to take the lead that regards you, I mean, that um, involves you, you utilizing your voice. Yeah, it's telling you to take action. And I think that offer is coming in. Yeah, something that you've been waiting on. But due to your dedication and your hard work, it's paying off. Look like some type of um, communication. An offer is coming your way in that regard, a missed opportunity. Something just for the stuff. Look like he open. Let's see. I just seen the Ace of Pentacles. They came right back. Something that you've been waiting on. And there you go. A victory. Because you and spirit is working together. That's on temperance. But believe and succeed. With a victory. And relaxation. Telling you to chillax. It's happening. Soon it's going to be Paule time. The 
just be careful in regards to how you're thinking at this time. Death and the rebirth. New collaborations. And I told you, this queen, because she's confronting her emotions, she is elevating. That's the spiritual ascension. Right after the victory card. The six of wands. And right on the star. Is the lovers. The crown chakra. Something is going to. If you're in isolation and sadness. Something is about to take you out of it. Now, maybe some of you guys that are in an existing relationship. Let me see. You might have to utilize your voice. You know, sometimes we can be in a relationship and be sad. And remember, this collaboration doesn't have to be intimate. In regards to the man and the woman. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is new collaboration. Now, you got the lovers and the two of cups next to each other. This is a new beginning looking at this one, though. I think I would rather have the two of cups than the lovers. Somebody needs to take the lead, take action in regards to something that is lacking balance. And I think it has something to do with this. It's disturbing your crown. Your thought process. Who you are. Who you truly are. Because this death is looking at this lovers that's going to bring in something new is this something more balanced that spirit is bringing in yeah you may be trying to work on something that you need to let go so this wish fulfillment can come in there's the tower. Now it could be a marriage. Or it could be something that you're just waiting on. Now this is going to be an unexpected event that may happen that you're not ready for. It could have already happened though. Could have been something from the past to get you up out of whatever this is. But I'm just looking, well, I think an old part of you had to die so that something new can come in. You had to let go of something. You had to, yeah. Yeah. I think it was all about this. Some shadow aspect and emotions that you had to let go of. Yeah. 
in regards to past relationships that was hindering you from shining because the star card is there But this is here. Let me see. Now I stopped on the Hermit card. Which gives me the feelings that somebody may have separated themselves from a situation or are contemplating about something. Yeah. Now we know the swords, it's all about the mind. And this is with the high priestess. And that's re-energized and challenging times. Do look like you're moving with the smoother waters. It's going to be a victory. This death is lined up with the high priest. And I told you that this queen of cups was elevating. And damn it, there you go. I think somebody healed a lot of past trauma. Look at all of that. That's crazy. Yeah, look. You spoke up. Look at all that. Now, that can also be existing situations as well. I know I got a lot of impasse on this channel. I think you're understanding that this energy that's floating on out here ain't yours. Yeah. And this is all about giving and receiving. And I think you're moving on from this energy. And this is also going to be lining up with this lover's card. Somebody was giving and somebody was taking. Messing with your mind. Had you in isolation and sadness. Now this is something that you're moving forward to. Whatever spirit is bringing in. And this is something that you've been praying and hoping and wishing and working on. Yourself, working on yourself, minding your business, tending to your own business so that this can come in. Whatever that is for you. A job, new soul tribe, new boot, whatever. And you're healing and you're dealing. You're letting go. Justice. And the four. Yep. Yep. And that's justice on your behalf. That's retribution. In regards to folks like that. Missing with your mind. That's four. It's trying to stab you in the back, keep you all in your emotions. You're moving forward. Your hard work is paying off. Yeah. Healing. To getting your mind right. Chasing after your dream. To attaining your crown. You've done good, boo. And just remember, none of us are perfect. And we have to check ourselves all the time before we wreck ourselves. You understand what I'm saying? We're ever evolving. The growth process never stops. That go for me too, y'all. Shoot. Listen. Okay.
I had to check myself before I wrecked myself. Now you got the light coming out here. That's a lot, but I'm going to read them. Clear your energy. Accept the things that you can change. You also have cultivation, personal transformation. And the last card is be candid. And that means to utilize your voice to speak up. Remember, sometimes you got to make people uncomfortable. You ever uh, had somebody come at you out the side of their neck, but then when you be candid and tell them how it really is, <laughs> you're the victim? I mean, you're the villain? <laughs> Listen, ain't nobody caring about that. We got new beginnings coming, new levels of understanding that's gonna bring in that wholeness. You know, sometimes when I find myself in challenging situations, I always think. Is this a test? And somehow it gets me a check kind of quick. You know what I'm saying? I think if you use that mindset that you'll probably approach these things in a different manner because, I don't know, I always want the divine to be proud of me. <laughs> I do. I'll be like, is this a test? <laughs> Let me check myself before I wreck myself. You know what I'm saying? Let me play a few cards. A little mind manipulation on my own. And it's telling you to release the doubt to know all the answers because nobody does. You know, when you find yourself being the um, giver of negative energy, make amends. Apologize, you know, move on. It's better to apologize than let that stuff, you know, simmer. Had that regret. Just let it out. You know, be the bigger person. Now, they don't have to accept it, but you're letting it go. And you got relationships. And it says, I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good. And that's what you're doing. Releasing that doubt. That you're not bringing in healthy relationships. It's telling you to trust. And I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. And you have self-esteem. And it says I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. And that's lying right up on lead. And understanding that failure... It's just mistakes and opportunities to learn from. Just like I was just saying. You know? It takes a lot of strength and courage to admit when you're the wrong one. It's a lot of growth. Now, let me put you some angel messages. I don't even know if I got any other angel. Let me know. You know what I'm going to do? Let me see. What's your mission? Then we'll close it out.
Now you got karmic relationships with soul growth. Now it also has Orion energy and conflict. However, we just explain making amends when you need to so that you can have that soul growth. Now, I do see this karmic relationships as completions. Now, if you're facing any conflict, know when to let go. Know when to hold, know when to fold. <laughs> Damn. And you got the golden child. You are the golden child, boo. The inner child, the tenderness, the innocence, and the rare gifts. Now, I want to just read that and we're going to close it out because I am dying to know what that say. And that is something that you're going to take with you and chew on. Okay. Now, what is it? Oh, and that's on page 70. And it says the golden children, the children of the sun, are highly advanced, extremely intelligent souls who are incarnating increasingly on the planet. And it says they have little or no personal karma and possess this incredible gifts and, intu and intuitive abilities. Wow. Lining up with karma. And then I tell you you had karma completions. And little debt. And souls growth. And it says golden children are born with a very clear mission. Many remember it from a young age and begin to, and begin answering and sharing it early in life. It says due to their unique unique intelligence, they may find themselves easily bored at school. Now maybe they have something to do with that isolation and sadness because you just don't fit in. You know, people just don't understand you. Now, that's not for everybody. That doesn't mean that you're not a golden child if that doesn't fit you. This is just one person's interpretation of it. And it says, most have, most have never incarnated on earth before, and so, if they are not supported in their right ways, they struggle with physical life here. They're often referred to as the new, hum the new humans. I don't know why I can't talk, y'all. If you pull this card, it may be a sign that you're being called to mother, father, or nature, a, nurture a child. You may be called to tend to your own inner child, a creative idea or a project, or a new beginning. To treat yourself or the new beginning with sweet, tender love. And child, is, I don't know. I don't, sometimes I don't think it'd be me, y'all. I think it'd just be the way they write. <laughs> Let me see if I can try that again. Now, that's it. To treat yourself or the new beginning with sweet, tender love. Now, I don't understand why that would be the beginning of a sentence. But okay. Now, it says to nurture and to nourish it. To give it every chance to grow and reach adulthood. To encourage it, to water it. To teach the world through the innocence of a child. To see yourself and all others as innocent children. To remember 
that deep down everyone is trying their best and if they're treated with a tender heart they are not hardened as they journey through this great adventure called life sure. i think they was trying to be profound <laughs> All right, y'all. And I'm going to leave that there. Hit the like button. See y'all next one.